cranial nerves emerge directly from the brain unlike spinal nerves in the spinal cord's domain the first two cranial nerves arise from the cerebrum while the other ten nerves arise from the brain stem your special senses are olfaction audition vision balance gustation detected by specialized organs which collect this information your general senses are temperature vibration pressure touch and pain detected over a widespread area and sent to your brain cranial nerve one the olfactory helps you detect smells transmitting signals that come from olfactory factory epithelium cells. The second, the optic nerve transmits retinal input. This nerve allows you to see, so here it is. Come look. Pupils are constricted by the third nerve, the ocular motor. Also running four eye muscles, it's the eyeball's main motor. It talks to the Edinger Westphal and ocular motor nuclei to help lens accommodation and lift the upper lid of your eye. The fourth, the trochlear nerve on the trochlear nucleus relies in order to control the superior oblique muscles of your eyes. The fifth, the trigeminal, the largest of the cranial nerves controlling mastication muscles for chewing food it serves and senses temperature, touch, and pain of your scalp face meninges, larynx, pharynx, sinuses, and oral and nasal cavities. The sixth, the abducens nerve on the abducens nucleus relies to innervate the lateral rectus muscles of your eyes. The seventh, the facial nerve feels touch behind your ear and controls facial expressions like happiness or fear to transmitting taste from the front to three of the tongue it's devoted and has secret emotion function for all head glands except the parotid the eighth the vestibular cochlear this nerve has two talons linking the semicircular canals to the vestibular nucleus for balance and sending sound signals from cochlea to cochlear nucleus so it talks with two nuclei as you'll remember if you're studious the ninth the glossopharyngeal nerve takes over the parotid gland transmitting taste from the back third of the tongue so food isn't bland it gives sensation to your tongue tonsils pharynx and eardrum too innervates the stylopharyngeus muscle measures blood pressure ph O2 The 10th the vagus nerve has oh so many functions From thoracic and abdominal organs It gets visceral sensations It also gives sensation to your estful ear And to your meninges, lower pharynx and larynx Here, it innervates palate muscles And the larynx and the pharynx Causes gland secretion in the thorax, abdomen, larynx, pharynx, pharynx The 11th, the accessory nerve For motor use is employed Innervating the upper trapezius and sternocleidomastoid the twelfth, the hypoglossal nerve has motor function solely and innervates extrinsic and intrinsic tongue muscles totally except for the palatal glossus which elevate the tongue's back part and is innervated by the vagus nerve that sets it apart. 